What's man? I got my head is messed. I got mayflies off. What's up, everybody? Welcome back up here. Uh -oh. I don't know. My lens may be dirty. Try to get that lighting right. Oh, there we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back up here on Chickamauga today. Late evening. It's about 7:45. I'm gonna do some fishing. There are mayflies. Look at these guys. They're everywhere. They're in the trees all over the place. We're going to fish around and we're going to wait till it gets dark and I'm going to fish those docks again. See how that goes. I'm going to drop my light down so y'all can really see, which I did in the other one, but it's kind of later in the video. I'm going to drop the light down, fish these docks, just have some fun, fish till, I don't know, 10 or 11 at night, see what we can catch. I think I'm going to just target whatever. White bass, largemouth, whatever we can catch. All right, guys, let's just get into it. Look at these mayflies. Guys, they're everywhere, all around me, all in the, I don't know if y'all can see them in the water there, but they're in the water, flying above me. Look at that guy go. They're all in the trees, like piles of them. That's what all these fish are feeding on. These white bass are moving up at night because all these mayflies are swimming over to these lights and they're sitting on these docks and they're just having a field day with them. And that's what we're gonna target, try to catch them. Super cool. All right, guys, let's see what we can do. See, the thing is, bluegills move up on these things, too. So what I'm going to do is go up through here and see if I can catch any bass that are just chilling, eating the bluegills that are eating the maple. Look at that guy. Super cool. Well, guys, I'm going to keep you on the chest strap for right now. And there's just millions of mayflies. I mean, like, they are everywhere. It's a hell of a may mayfly hatch. They've been hatching for a while, but now they're just, like, everywhere. What really sucks is I left my graph at home. I left it sitting on the counter. I grabbed everything I needed. Except I forgot my graph. God, look at all these mayflies. They are everywhere. The white bass are going to be just... If all these guys fly to the lights over there tonight, oh my God. It's going to be a... It's going to be crazy. I tore this. This is a Strike King what they call it, a rage bug or whatever I accidentally tore the little flap the other one I was like I ain't getting rid of it just because I tore one flap I just kept it on there Let's see if we can catch a bass with a one legged rage bug or whatever it is I wouldn't have forgot my graph it's a huge difference on that graph. There's one. There's one. Slowed that thing down for a minute. A little large mouth. Oh, he's not so bad. He's not too small. We gotta be careful this guy. Hook is sharp. Chill, buddy. Look at shark. A little large mouth. I knew there'd be some in here just chilling, eating these mayflies. Eating whatever's eating the mayflies. That's kind of what I was thinking. There he is, guys. Let's get him back. He's not very big. Probably about 12, 13 inches, though. A little large mouth. Let's see if we can get another one. Be nice. Let's see if we can get another one. It's hot out here. I mean, look at this. There's just swarms of them all over the place. I mean, this is just like fish food everywhere. I mean, they're all behind me. I mean, they are just, this is one hell of a mayfly hatch. I mean, good Lord. It's awesome. It's absolutely crazy though. Ooh, there's another good one. Oh, he's small. Oh, dinker. Boy, he hit that so hard. Little bee fish. Man, he smoked that thing. Smoked it hard. He hit that thing with a vengeance. Man, he hit that thing hard. Whew. Takes a little bit when you get outside like this for that humidity to really stick to you and increase the heat when i first got out here i was like oh, i don't think that bad 
and that humidity starts sticking to you and you start trapping that heat you're like oh, that's a, you're like man it is warm then you start feeling warm as hell hot Wake boat after boat after boat. I ate two for a can, so my stomach's like, uh, barbecue too. So I'm like, wakes are killing me. Only they don't bother me. I just said in the last video how they don't bother me, but I think they're starting to bother me. There's one. Oh my goodness, guys, I missed him. There he is. Come back, picked it up, I guess. What we got here? A little bitty largemouth. I mean, a straight squeaker sitting near that dock. Straight squeakster. He's a tiny little bass. No bigger than a chicken nugget. Get out of here. Go get bigger. No bigger than a chicken nugget, that bass ain't. No bigger than a chicken nugget. Well, this color's really working out. I like this color. This is a good color. It's a good lure. The color seems to be paying off. People always look at me like I'm an anomaly. They're like, wait a minute, he's bass fishing from a crappie boat. That looks weird. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you can fish out of any kind of boat. Any kind of fish. You don't have to have a bass boat to bass fish. I mean, bass boats are only really designed for tournament anglers. You need to get around the lake faster. That's really the only reason. You don't have to have one. You know when all these boats go home. Go home. No, they don't. They got as much right to the lake as I do. More, maybe. Some of them live right here. My little boat, it gets rocked. It gets rocked on these wakes. Barbecue and rocket boat don't mix very well. Barbecue and rocket boat don't mix. I put a couple bass in the boat. Try out this new color and this lure, and I'm kind of digging it. I'm using these are Strike King. I've seen these on. Um, These are moon juice is what these are. Rage tails. There's one. Good one. Good fish. <laughs> Pull me. Nice large mouth. Nice bass. Oh, that's a good bass. Ah, nice large mouth bass. All right, dog. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Well, that sun goes down. Nice large mouth bass. Nice large mouth. Oh, well, I had him barely hooked. What's a thick, thick largemouth? I mean thick. That guy's got some girth. Let's see how long this fish is. This is a very healthy largemouth. Oh, he's 
the eight ball. He'll do right at 17 inches, but he's fat. He's been feeding on all these, all these gills. God, sorry, buddy. Gill. Ow, my back. Big old hefty largemouth. That is a very, he's so thick, I'm curious to how much he weighs. I'm actually gonna weigh this fish. He's not super gi gigantic, but he's just so thick and heavy. How much does he weigh? He's right at almost three pounds. He's two and a half pounds, but he's so thick. Beautiful thick bass. Let's let him go. Let's let him go. He's almost three pounds. See you, buddy. See you all right? There he goes. It's hot out here. Bringing them out. You don't want to leave them out for too long. I was trying to shoot a time lapse here. And I caught that fish and I was like, well. Kind of blew my time lapse. <laughs> but hey, I'll take a I'll take a nice almost three pound, two and a half pound bass over a over a time lapse any day of the week. This color, man, this color is working really good. The reason I say colors because I come up here the other day. The last few times using like green pumpkin and stuff that I typically use on on parks or the clear lake that I fish and it's just not right for out here I seen this color and I thought you know this is a good looking color I bet that color will work out pretty good I've almost trashed this thing it's getting dark and I don't want to do another one I'm just gonna leave it on there. I literally threw that thing out there. I literally just threw it out there and let it set for a second. And he just scooped it up. Let it set for about, I don't know, about 20, 30 seconds probably. I threw it out there. Close to the dock than that. I was right on the dock. I just let it sit there. I picked it up and I just felt fish. And it's starting to swarm. I mean, the swarms of them everywhere. It's the craziest thing ever. They're starting to all swarm around those lots. Look at them all. They're just all taking off. Oh my god, it's so crazy. <laughs> They're everywhere. Absolutely just tons of mayflies. There he is. He's right under the boat. Like literally right under the boat. <laughs> Just flopping around underneath that lot. Dropped him. He's got like bubbles in his eye. That's weird. I'm letting him go. He hangs around the lot. Guys, well, I'm back in the car. We have very low light. It's night time. I tried to do a little night fishing, but man, there are so many. Um, mayflies out. I mean, the fish are just spread across the lake. Normally, they'll set under those lots, but with that big of a hatch, I mean, I didn't realize there's going to be a bazillion mayflies. Not, but we did catch a few bass and one nice bass and a little white bass, but I don't know if I got it on film or not. But I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm going to head to the house. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all go fish.